Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's a small clip of how my hallway used to look. Although it doesn't look bad, I really just wanted my hallway to have a wow factor since it's one of the first things that you see when you walk into the door. As you guys can see, I had really tall ceilings and I really wanted your eye to be drawn up so that way the hallway seems bigger than what it actually is. So I decided to go with shiplap. I pre-measured my wall and I went to Home Depot and I had them cut the wood to size. You guys know I love doing projects by myself, but because the ceilings were so tall, I really needed help to properly do it, and it pained me to ask for help. Well, she finally came and asked for some help, because that's what she needed. Well, anyway, I ain't gonna slander her. <laughs> but, so we got the first three planks in there, so it was looking good so far. I got the nickels for the space, and I have more nickels, but like any fiance or wife or girlfriend, you take your monies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're missing but um we can't now we can't record the progress as we're doing it because we need two people because i do need her to help balance it just to make sure it's perfect but do you want to explain what you've done so far yeah uh board one went up there And by the way guys, we are using a air compressor and a nail gun. If you don't have one of these, you can either rent one from Home Depot, Menards, or Lowe's, or you could just use liquid nail, which is only like $7, and then you don't need a nail gun at all. Yeah, so pretty much you take one of these little you dig a rose right here, and then that, and then just make sure it's against the wall the way you want it, and then with the nickels because you want to have some space in there. Yeah, you want a little bit of space and that's where the nickels come in. So I'll put a nickel there and I'll put a nickel there and I'll put a nickel there. And then you use the nail gun. Yeah, I can actually can do this one. It's low enough where I can do it. You think so? Okay. Yeah, because uh, the other one's too tall. So that's all loaded. I got all my nickels in there and then You guys, we did the same thing with the boards going all the way down to the bottom and then I painted and put this little plant there, but I still wasn't happy with the way that it looked, so I decided to paint the entire hallway white to make it look a little bit more open. So this is the paint that I chose. I decided to go with bare ultra pure white and the interior flat finish and I couldn't be more happier. Like I'm so shocked at myself because I normally go for like earth tone colors and I'm very shocked that I chose white but I love how open, airy and fresh it makes the room look and because like my house is not that big I'm learning to go with like white walls and just accessorize with lots of colors because white walls just make the room seem a lot bigger than what it actually is and let me know in the comments if you think that as well so I went to Ikea and I picked up these four picture frames and guys I'm not a huge fan of Ikea's picture frames because one it's made of plastic and it just looks very flimsy it's not even like real glass but because I was trying to keep my cost low it worked out perfectly I found some leftover paint in my garage and I went to Dollar Tree and I found four white posters that were like two for a dollar and I got like a paint roller and kind of freestyle and did my own thing. I know you guys like sometimes go into these stores and you'll see like this art that looks like a fifth grader probably did it and they put it in these like really nice picture frames and it looks more expensive than what it actually is so instead of doing that I just did it by myself and this project cost me less than I would say probably $115 to get all four of these pictures and I kind of just did my own thing and just had fun with it.
So while the paint is drying, I'm just plugging in the spotlight that I found at the thrift store for like $2 and just leaning this mirror against the wall. I got this mirror from Ikea. I have like three of these mirrors. I love them so much. They were like $130 each, which is pretty expensive, but let me know if you guys agree. I feel like mirrors definitely make the room look a lot bigger than what it actually is. So I got this piece of art from Home Goods for like $50 a couple years ago and here's a little tip for you guys. Don't be afraid to add huge pieces of art in a small room. I know you might think it may make the room look overcrowded but it's actually better than hanging up a ton of small pieces of art. I don't know about you guys but I think these DIY pictures came out pretty good. I'm so happy with the results and I'm glad I went with the shiplap around the closet. I went with the color Curry by Bear. I got this leather mill holder from Target for about $20 and I got this plant from Home Goods for about $30. Those pictures I got from the thrift store for about $5 each. I'm so in love with this chalk wall right when you walk in the door. I think it looks so fun and I'm so sorry I didn't film it, but I did this about two years ago. Here's how the lights look behind the mirror at night. I think it looks so cool. I'm so happy with the results of the hallway. It definitely gives me that wow factor and I hope you guys think the same. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and let me know which was your favorite.